So, hi, uh, me again, I'm back after about a year, uh, it's been a year since I last posted a video, a year and a half since I last made a scripting video, but, uh, pretty much I just feel like contributing again, so I, maybe I'll, I'm back to making videos, I don't know, uh, I figured I would start out with something kind of simple and then uh, mainly how I want to do things from now on is probably take suggestions from you guys mostly you know I wanna I wanna just give back to you guys I wanna contribute so I'll probably be reading comments a lot more now seeing what you guys want maybe make videos on that I don't know we'll see how things go but uh... Yeah, I've been I've been on hiatus I uh... I've been finishing school, I've been working on my own games mostly, which I'll actually have some more info on later. Uh, I'm probably going to release another game this month. It's the 6th of April, cool. Yeah, I'll probably... Uh, I'm, I'm finishing a lot of old projects right now, one of which is probably going to be ready by the end of this month. Maybe next month at the latest. I uh, plan on finishing things this time around. Um, there's so much stuff for me to go over, probably. I don't want to hold up the video too much, but, uh, uh, I, if you guys don't know, I also run a group on Roblox called Scripters, just straight up Scripters. Uh, it's kind of, I guess it gets a lot of attention for having the group ID of 26, like it was a 26 group made on Roblox. Uh, so yeah, there's that. I've I've been running that for a couple years now, and it's we made a Discord server a while back that has some people in it, and I figured that I should probably mention that. Uh, now, I'll have a link in the description for you guys to check it out. Uh, yeah, there's that. I don't know if I'm missing anything. I'll just post it in the description or comments. But. Uh, God, I'm so awkward. You, you know, I never really edit my videos, if you notice. Like, I'll edit if... I, I had a house phone at one point. I'll edit my videos if that rings or something dumb like that. But, yeah, I'm not really much of a video editor. So, I'm going to still be just as awkward as before, guys. Don't worry. <clears throat> so, let's get on topic. Uh, tween service. I think this is something that a lot of beginners don't really understand like it's a little confusing for them and it was a pretty simple topic so I figured I'll start with that uh, yeah I'm yeah, just gonna make a variable at the top call it tween service I got the API page open here uh, so if you don't know what tweening is <clears throat> it's a uh, you know interpolating the properties of instances in other words it makes something go from zero to one in a pretty fashion uh, they're used for you know animations and you can only use them on pr pretty much all numeric properties such as all these you can't use them on strings or what bulls okay that's weird uh, yeah pretty much mainly numbers uh, Let's, we can describe it as a pretty way of saying, uh, like for instance, I'll make a part in workspace for i equals 0 to 1, point 1, do uh, workspace, no, nah, workspace dot part equals dot, ah, part dot position equals workspace dot part dot position plus vector three plus new blah one 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 I can't speak English today oh yeah anchor it yeah so I didn't add any weights but it made it go like uh, ten studs up or whatever Instead of doing something like that for animations and uh, like adding a weight in between or something, we want to make it look 
all smooth like and pretty so how we do that is we start with the tween service create method this just creates a new tween and we'll be able to specify the part and the tween information inside of that so we're just, the first uh, argument is workspace.part the object that you're tweening and then the next one is something called tween info uh, so yeah here's the API page API page for tween info you just type tween info dot new and then you have you know all these things you pass to it blah 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 uh, so we write tween info dot new uh, the first one is time we'll make it go for one second and uh, IntelliSense, it's really nice here. You can see what you need to pass in. Uh, there are a bunch of easing styles we can do. I like uh, I like Quint. Then the easing direction. Uh, I'll choose out. And uh, by the way, uh, duplicate easing style there's this API page for uh, easing style and you know you can read all about that here and you can see you know the differences uh, they go in out in out which is somewhere in between don't want to go too far into that uh, and then the repeat count if you want it to repeat we'll have it repeat once uh, true we'll make it reverse and we'll make it wait one second. Okay. After you've you know, got your tween info down, uh, the next argument is a table, and that's going to be the properties of it that you want to tween. We'll tween the C frame. Uh, blah. I can't type C frame. Dot new. Uh, 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 sure. And we'll tween the color property too. Equals color three dot from RGB. Uh, make a tween from pure white to pure black, right? <clears throat> and uh, once you've done that, you can use the play method on the tween you just created. Uh, some people local tween equals yeah. Sometimes you want to put it in a variable because uh, you can like pause it at will and stop it and I'll show you that in a minute let's watch the magic happen ooh that's very pretty is it not pretty cool huh so uh so we'll uh, that goes for one second we'll wait point five tween uh, pause I think that's the method yeah see You can play it and pause it at will. Pretty cool. Uh, yeah, you can read more about the uh, caveats here. Uh, one thing I would like to note uh, is this: uh, for for GUI, ob blah, GUI objects, whatever. There's tween size, tween size and position, tween position. Uh, I would probably use tween service over that uh, just because you know since it exists they're probably gonna deprecate that stuff in the distant future uh, anyway uh, yeah for, for tween service there are only uh, there are only two uh, functions really that you need to worry about the rest of it is you know inherited from the standard Roblox instance uh, this function get value not going to worry about that right now. They just added it. It's not enabled yet, but uh, that's going to be useful for like a if you want to do your own custom easing stuff or something. You can pass in uh, an easing style, easing direction that you want to check, and then you pass in a number from uh, a float from zero to one, and it'll you know give you some mathy information for that stuff if you want to make your own uh, custom easing. I don't know. That's pretty vague. Sorry. Uh, anyway, we're going to uh, look at the tween object.
So, uh, yeah, this is the object that's returned by tween service create. And uh, it has, a look at the properties, uh, playback state, we can go to that page, we can uh, look at the data type playback state, well, not a data type, an enum, and you can see, you know, what stage it's in. I'm going into the functions. Play, pause, cancel. I guess cancel is like pause, but it sets it back to the beginning. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, kind of. Uh, uh, down at the events, we have this event called completed. It fires when it finishes playing. Happens when it naturally finishes playing or if you call cancel on the tween. So, tween dot completed connect function print. We did it, boys. Yahoo. I'm gonna open the output. There you go. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I usually don't uh, pass in these last three arguments for repeating. I just don't really find the need to most of the time. What is that? I don't know. Is there anything else I need to go over for this? Uh, I'll demonstrate. I'll demonstrate it on a UI object. Like I mentioned before, I'll twink to the middle of the screen. Twin service create uh, script.parent. We want to pass in the object that we're tweening. Tween info.new. Uh, if you leave it empty like this, it has the. Uh, you know, it'll, it says the default stuff right here. So, uh, position equals edem2.new. Uh, this sets it to the middle of the screen if you didn't know. Uh, sure. Oh, common mistake. I usually forget to play it after I create it. What did I do wrong? The heck? And using style dot back and dot using direction dot out. Play. What the heck did I do wrong? I'm genuinely confused right now. <laughs> what? Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. Debugging with Austin, guys. Okay, that's freaking crazy. I'm not gonna dwell on that for too long, I guess. I don't know. I warned you guys, I'm just as awkward as I was when I left. See? I'm not, not even gonna edit that part out. Uh, but uh, yeah, tween service, it's really useful for a lot of animation things. <laughs> You know, easing. Uh, if you want, uh, if you have any questions on more specific use cases or something, I mean, you see what it does. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions, comment down below. Comment what you want my next video to be on. I'm gonna have info on uh, my next game pretty soon. 
uh, yeah, I guess that's it. I'm still, I'm kind of nervous being back on camera. As you can probably tell. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, and, uh, thanks for sticking with me, you know, these past two years. My channel's grown a little bit, even though I haven't posted any videos. I still, I still get people asking me if I'm ever going to make videos again, if my channel's still alive. I get people commenting. So that's pretty much, that's pretty much what's driving me to help you guys again. Because uh, I, I think I realize this is what I actually love doing, so I'll probably, you know, keep doing it if there's a demand for it. So, yeah, see you guys in the next video.